Mayor Pete Booty Geek. Booty Judge. Someone said they call him Booty Judge uh, because they thought uh, he liked to judge booties. And that's crass and rude. And it was funny the first time I heard it. Hope you laughed a little too. <laughs> All right, I got, a, I got a clip about Pete. And something strange happened after Pete did the Fox News Town Hall. I, I, I guess you can't really call it strange, but <clears throat> Donald Trump himself did comment about Pete. And that's in here, and here goes the clip. Joe said that he's running to, quote, save the world. Well, he was. He was going to save every country but ours. Don't forget, Biden deserted you. He's not from Pennsylvania. I guess he was born here, but he left you, folks. He left you for another state. Remember that, please. I meant to say that. This guy talks about, oh, I know Scranton, I know that. Well, I know the place is better. He left you for another state and he didn't take care of you because he didn't take care of your jobs. He let other countries come in and rip off America. We would lose everything if we go with the people that you see that are running for office. You saw that last night I watched Alfred E. Newman. What's going on with Fox, by the way? What's going on there? They're putting more Democrats on than you have Republicans. It's something strange is going on at Fox, folks. Something very strange. Did you see this guy last night? I did want to watch. I, you always have to watch the competition, if you call it that. And he was knocking the hell out of Fox, and Fox has put him in. Somebody's going to have to explain the whole Fox deal to me. The... Uh the president seems to be upset about you, this town hall with uh, Fox News yesterday. Do you think that he sees you as some kind of a, a dangerous adversary? Yo creo que quizás el presidente uh, no sé cómo manejar esta situación de, de Mayor Pete. Uh, I, I, think, I think the president just doesn't quite know what to do with me. <laughs> He's right. He has no idea what to do with them. Mayor Pete Buttigieg answering in both English and Spanish with Telemundo yesterday. Jonathan Lemire, um, Mayor Pete has a long way to go. There, there are certain uh, sectors that, that he really is going to have trouble with. But boy, does he get under Trump's skin. He does seem to provoke a reaction from the president that we haven't seen from many of these 2020 candidates. You're right. Uh, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, though, off to a very impressive start to this campaign, you know, is still totally. well behind in the polls to say Vice former Vice President Biden. He certainly will have, have to answer questions about whether he can appeal to minority voters. You know, he's polling not particularly well there, again, compared to Biden and some of his competition. But he is someone who the, the people around the president I've been talking to in recent days has really caught their attention. I mean, they certainly still believe that, that Biden or perhaps Senator Harris or Senator Warren may be uh, ahead of the pack, Senator Sanders as well, but that he is sort of his sudden rise has really startled them. They, they see him as an obviously very, very intelligent, you know, sort of very well spoken, very formidable person who can who can move. Uh, you will have to prove his policy, foreign policy chops in particular and lay out some more proposals, but seems to have a certain talent that the president and the people around him respect. And by the way, it's not a coincidence that the president was in Pennsylvania last night. Expect to see that time and time again. Absolutely. It, fo it follows up recent visits to Wisconsin. All right, I got to cut it there, but I want to go back to the part where he talked about the black vote. Hold on. Uh, sectors, sectors that, that, that he really, really is going to have trouble with, but boy, does he get under Trump's skin. He does seem to provoke a reaction from the president that we haven't seen from many of these 2020 candidates. You're right. Uh, Mayor Pete Buttigieg, though, off to a very impressive start to this campaign, you know, is still totally. well behind in the polls to say Vice former Vice President Biden. He certainly will have have to answer questions about whether he can appeal to minority voters. You know, he's polling not particularly well there, again, compared to Biden and some of his competition. But he is someone who the, the people around the president I've been talking to in recent days has really caught their attention. I mean, they certainly still believe that that Biden or perhaps Senator Harris or Senator all right got it <laughs> i'll tell you man you can tell when someone's got the uh the wind behind their back right all right share this on your social media because we gotta we gotta speak to this right now all right i don't know who that guy was there you just saw on the screen with mika 
Uh, Mika, is she gushed all over Mayor Pete? It's kind of, kind of obscene a little bit. But we'll come back to Mika. But I don't know this guy. Who is this guy making a big deal out of Mayor Pete? <laughs> Mayor Pete, Mayor Pete. L listen, listen, guys. To say that he's not doing particularly well with the, with the blacks is the understatement of the year. The understatement of the year. I want to channel like Chris Farley on this. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Not particularly well. Dude, the guy's polling at 0% with blacks and people of color. He's not doing particularly well. That's what you call that? My cousin, my cousin died last year. He's not doing particularly well. He's dead. Yeah, that's sort of, sort of like the same thing that you're saying. I mean, the guy's polling at zero. Some polls have him at almost one percent with black folk, with black voters, and black voters are the most uh, resilient, most reliable voting bloc in the Democratic Party, and you're polling with less than one percent. I saw a video clip of a report in the, in South Bend, Indiana, where they were talking to black people in South Bend and they didn't even know who he was. And he's their mayor. And all of a sudden, you guys put him up on stage and throw a, throw a camera crew around him and do some flashy exposés, setups, and, and put him on different shows. And all of a sudden, he's supposed to be somebody people care about. He's a totally fabricated candidate. No one knows who this guy is. No one cares to know who he is. Oh, he's well-spoken. He's well-spoken. Yeah, so was Jack the Ripper. Yeah, so was he. Like, you know, that's not enough. He's an un unknown entity, totally. And he gives us no reason to get to know him. And um, for the record, look, I'm not Latino. Maybe we should talk to Nico House about this. But uh, listen, dude, just because you go on a station that's Latino, doesn't mean you got to speak Spanish unless you speak Spanish all the time. It's sort of like pandering. I'm invite Pete on my show. Yeah, Pete, come on my show. Now talk some black for me. Come on, talk some black for me. Yo, what's up, Tim Black? My nigga. Huh? Would that be okay? Would that be just fine? Him to come on, you know, talk about, man, the struggle is real, dog. Man, I had to turn up, feel me? Yo, word. Now I mean, me and my bae, we was swerving. You know, then we bounced over to the mall, picked up a little something to eat. Now, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? You feel me? Wouldn't be condescending at all. Wouldn't be patronizing at all. No, I'd be just fine to do the black talk. Like something out of San for the Sun. You know, the cop, San for the Sun. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a APB on a. What he's trying to say is that, you know, the brother's going to slide through. My brother. I don't know. It just seems like pandering when you start imitating other people, ethnicities, trying to show off. They weren't even that good at it either. Anyway. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, so, uh, so Mayor Pete there. Yeah, so, so look, guys, miss me with the Mayor Pete accolades, right? Guy has the website out. You finally put some policies on it. Get as close as we can to Medicare for All. Won't you just say go for Medicare for All, dude? Because they haven't given me permission yet. That's why, Pete. That's why you haven't. You can't come out full throatedly and say I support Medicare for All because they haven't given you permission. The people that write you their checks, who told you to run, who propped you up, right? You like that guy at dinner with Bernies or Bernies or whatever, the dead guy from the '80s movie. They propped you up and pretended he was alive. He was dead. They didn't want anybody to know he was dead or something like that. That's you, Pete. You're not a real candidate. You're a prop. Now, we all know what the prop is for. Your prop is to nullify Tulsi Gabbard. You know, I get so tired of having to explain this, but I'm going to do it because some people may not know this. Listen, Tulsi Gabbard is an actual war veteran. Not like Pete sitting in the back of a meeting room, in the, in the back of a, 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 a freaking uh, office space in Afghanistan not being involved in anything. I handle logistics. 
They all joined because this was the game plan all along. Comes from a very rich family. He's not like you or I, like regular people. All right? Uh, Rose Scholar, all this great, all these accolades, all this stuff. But really, what has he done? All right? The, the, the I get, I get email from people telling me how bad life was in South Bend, how he foreclosed on all this property. Like he's just bending over, giving it to the big corporations and screwing the little guys, and screwing the minorities and throwing them out of their homes. That's what the real story of Mayor Petey is up to this point. But they put this guy together. Like I said, they want to drown out Tulsi Gabbard, who's the real war candidate, but she actually supports peace. Peace. So that's a problem because with our military industrial complex, anybody who supports peace is going to get smeared constantly. And if all of that didn't just turn you off to Mayor Pete, maybe the fact that we have a hero in Chelsea Manning who went to jail for seven years in solitary confinement and Mayor Pete Booty Judge said, eh, I don't think Obama should have let her out. Well, you know what, Pete? I don't think I'll vote for you. You know what else, Pete? I think every time I do a show, I'm going to rip you a new one. How about that, Pete? How about that, booty judge? You wouldn't know a hero or a leader if it walked up and slapped you upside the head with that fake bold cut haircut. Who cuts this guy's hair, man? If you don't get this guy down to a barbershop immediately, stat, little beady eyes. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Then he goes in the, right after these shows, he goes in the bathroom and unscrews his neck from his, his head from his neck, puts on his Darth Vader mask, then goes to crazy parties, and drinks tequila till he passes out. Actually, that doesn't sound too bad. Revolution.